Hey, hi, and hello, Angelisa here for Brat Babes Throttle Talk. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, We just had Thanksgiving, Canadian Thanksgiving over here. So um, happy belated Thanksgiving. Is that how you say it? I hope that your weekend was filled with so much love, um, family, and friends. We are, so I'm recording this obviously a week before, And um, so we are gearing up to go dirt bike camping at Bear Creek in Kelowna. And it has been a few years for me since um, I've been to Bear Creek. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to spending time with some friends and um, with my family and having good meals, good rides and good times. So I'm extremely grateful for that and looking forward to it. So Again, happy Thanksgiving to all of my Canadian listeners out there. Um, Okay, so this episode is going to be really quick. We are shining the spotlight on an inspiring woman dirt bike rider who's tearing up the trails and just breaking barriers, okay? Um, She's here to share her journey, lessons learned, and her best advice for beginner riders looking to hit the trails with confidence. So whether you are just starting out or you need that boost of confidence and motivation, then this episode is for you. It's going to be short and sweet, but we're going to shine the spotlight on Jessica Rosa. Here she is. Hi, my name is Jessica and I am a new writer. Um, Angelie's reached out to uh, the Moto community and asked if there were any tips or tricks that we wanted to share with each other and as a new rider, I had a few. Um, number one, I would say is find a bike that you're comfortable with. I started on a Kawasaki either 140 or 150. I grew out of that and I didn't feel quite ready for a bigger bike. So I got a KTM e free rider um, and I got it lowered. I'm 5'3", so I feel very comfortable with this bike. This bike does not have a clutch, so I am really more so working on um, skills and some technical trails that I would otherwise be more feel fearful of. I've had some really bad accidents and several concussions, and so I'm scared of heights. <laughs> so with my fear of heights um, or anything technical that involves like going up or coming down is... Um, a scary moment for me. And so having the proper bike that I'm comfortable with um, has really helped. It, I'm building my confidence right now. So um, this is not my forever bike. I will be getting another bigger bike that will have more clutch work. But for now, I'm conquering a lot of my fears and a lot of technical things that I would normally be scared of. Um, up and down hills with loose big rocks um, ruts switch backs I'm doing all of it pretty easy on this bike and I'm hoping that uh, as I develop these skills and balance and whatnot that I'll be ready for a bigger bike and the two things that I'm working on are number one um, as I said before having the fear of doing some really technical work Um, from having past accidents sometimes I get in my head and I'm a little fearful and just thinking about my why of why I'm why am I out there to be out in nature to enjoy the time with my friends riding and really being appreciative and grateful that a I have a bike and b I have a means of being out on the trails and just being out there with the fresh air and just the beautiful landscape it's Taking a moment to smell the roses, I guess. Just just taking a step back, take some deep breaths and just regain, regain that peace that nature provides. The other thing that I struggled with was writing with uh, friends that are like more skilled and that are faster. Um, I used to get in my head about that. I used to be in my head that I needed to keep up or I wasn't skilled enough and I would really push myself and be hard on myself and it, One day it just clicked that 
A, my friends are going out with me because they enjoy my company, they wanna have a good time, and it doesn't matter what my skill level is. Like We're just out there enjoying the sport that we love. It's that simple. Um, and the more that you go out riding, the better you're gonna become. So more, the best thing to do is seat time and um, just being really grateful of that you have someone to ride with, ride with if you do, or if you have a community of, of folks to, to go with, like that's just the best thing. And it doesn't really matter how good you are because we all started somewhere and just, just knowing that. So um, knowing your why, coming back to a place of being grateful and being appreciative um, that we get to do this sport. So that has definitely changed my attitude and becoming more confident. Um, the second thing I would say is having the proper gear, having the proper padding, like our protection, like the elbow pads, chest protector, or a vest that has protection in it, leggings that have protection in it, um, knee pads, um, investing in some really good boots, things of that nature so that you feel very confident when it comes to being in a challenging situation because you are well protected. That's helped me. <laughs> and um, when it comes to an actual, like the attitude of, um, I would say for me, my two struggles are, and I still struggle with it, but it's um, realizing or putting into perspective what my why is. Why am I interested in this sport? Why do I love to ride? it helps counter the two things that I'm still working on. All right. Thank you so much, Jessica, for sharing that insight when it comes to gaining confidence on the dirt bike. I love it so much. So if you want to have a rider spotlight here on the podcast, send me a DM over on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at Angelisa Edwards, and I would love to have you on the show sending us some information or tips and tricks when it comes to um, helping other beginner riders, novice riders getting into the sport. And don't forget about our contest that's happening this month. Um, if you are not aware, I am hosting a contest over here on my podcast. Okay. This is podcast only. Um, so October 1st of 2024, and it ends October 31st, 2024. So what you will win is a Brat Babes coffee mug. You'll win a inhale exhale notebook that i designed and also a new t-shirt graphic designed by me that nobody else has um i haven't put it out on the market yet so here is what you need to do you need to follow brat babes throttle talk on either apple or spotify um leave a rating a five star would be amazing but i'll let you decide and also leave a review. Now, um, a few of you have let me know that Spotify does not have um, any way to leave a review. So you can either send me a DM and leave a review there over on my Instagram, or if you have Apple review, or uh, sorry, if you have uh, Apple podcast, leave a review over there. I would appreciate it so much. Um, so once you've left that review, you do need to screenshot that review and then send it to me over on Instagram. Again, my account is at Angelisa Edwards. Um, bonus points if you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well and just tell me that you did that over on the Instagram message, okay? I will add your name twice for that round. Uh, so again, this contest is going till October 31st and I will announce the winner November 1st. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning in in today's show. Please rate and review this podcast. I would forever be thankful and grateful. Share it with your friends, family, and whoever you feel would enjoy these types of conversations in the dirt bike, snowmobile, and motorsports community. If you are looking to support the show, I do have a few affiliate links in the show notes. And if you're looking for some confidence in the digital space, learning how to brand yourself, edit your epic sends, um, and just being the vibe, being your true self, your authentic self, um, shoot me a message. You can reach me over on my website, angelisaedwards.com. And as always, I am rooting for you and keep killing it safely. And I'll see you next week.